Uh, he was living in America by the time I discovered yeah, them, really. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, no, no. no. Um, he died or oh, some time ago, yeah. I sent a copy of the film to his widow, who I knew as well, um, and for his local library to hold. For the car system. And we went to 2005, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You have more jobs. Yeah, yeah. They might be getting there. Going on the train. Yeah. All right. Bona fide travellers. Yeah. We are pill. Are you going to the station still from my train? Never gets highlighted the cost of school uniforms. It's just disgraceful. Our school uniforms. I did. I saw it on the news. Yeah, yeah, there you are. Went the day well. Oh yeah, love Turvey. We go to her with her. Yeah, on the right is put the pictures of Oh yeah. She's uh, checkers. You turn left. It's all one big Chocolate stuck with the car. Yeah. Yeah, perspective. Yeah, yeah, and they were they were pulled by the real bell ringers with, with their fingers and thumbs. I've got a prologue in the Middle English as well. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Hello, hello. I've been on one of these for some time. Alright, well done. Yeah. No, he's got gout, so he can't walk very well. Yeah. yeah. This is the opening shot. The opening from the film. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Get on film studio. Construction studio, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There's a jag going past, and John Mills is driving it. There's a jag going past, and John Mills is driving it. That's until it's done. When the April showers. <laughs> yeah, S H O R U R E. Yeah. Well, that's just a music introduction. Uh, there you get there was when no the April winds. That's who I am, Sarah. <laughs> And the young sun had been the ram's heart to love And small a fowl is made a melody that sleep all the night with a So forget their nature in their courageous. And long ago to go to your remake. Yeah, that's it. Especially from every shire's end of England to Canterbury they went. <laughs> the lovely blissful Malta Lovely. Lovely. Right. What channel was it on? It's on five. Oh, that's still right. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Right, can you hear me at the back? Yes, yes good. Welcome to Chillingbourne. <laughs> Michael Powell was born at Beaksbourne, just down the road, in 1905 and was educated at King's School, Canterbury, growing up in the countryside we see in this film. By the way, how many people have not seen the film that we're talking about? Less than 200 times. Right, <laughs> right that's good. 
Uh, with the Canterbury Tale, he realised an ambition to make a film in and about the Canterbury countryside and the people who travelled along the Pilgrim's Way to Beckett's Shrine in Canterbury Cathedral. A Canterbury Tale is known as Canterbury's very own film and remains so to this day. The film contains a wealth of messages and images, some obvious, others less so. But to most people who live or travel in East Kent, what especially appeals is that the story was filmed in places that we can still find today. The film is unusual for its time because so much of it was filmed on location. For most of the while we're in the great outdoors, occasionally cutting to interior sequences which can easily mislead us to thinking that we're in actual buildings in Canterbury and its villages. But I must warn you that this is not the case. Indoors we're almost always in Denham Studios and sometimes when we're outdoors as well. <laughs> most of the story is set in Chillingbourne, a make-believe village near Canterbury where the four main characters first meet. Chillingbourne was inspired by Fordwich, Chillum and several other local villages and is a fictitious town where we first encounter the villain of the story, Thomas Culpepper, played by Eric Portman. When the film was made in 43, Portman was an established film star and had already appeared in two Powell and Pressburger films, 49's Parallel and One of Our Aircraft is Missing. The three other stars were making their screen debuts. Lady, uh, Sheila Sim, now Lady Attenborough, as Land Army Girl Alison Smith, Dennis Price as British Army Sergeant Peter Gibbs, John Sweet, a real GI, as American Army Sergeant Bob Johnson. Three boys, Len Smith, Jimmy Tamsit and David Todd, were in the cast of principal characters, meaning they were named in the credits. Other boys from the villages around Canterbury were in the battle scene, and many other local people had small parts or appeared as extras. Now let's also spare a thought for Emmerich Pressburger. Michael Powell shared writing, directing and producing credits with Emmerich, a Hungarian Jewish refugee from the Nazis, who had spent time in Berlin and Paris learning the languages and writing films and other stories in those countries before he came to Britain. Powell and Pressburger made a feature film every year from 1939 to 1951, plus a few other major bursts of creativity. All the films they made from 1940 to 1946 were original stories by Emmerich, including this most English of stories. We start in the location to at a railway station, just like our modern day pilgrims in the film. The station we see in the film is all in the studio, but it's quite close to, in appearance to how this station looked in the 1940s. Now let's make our way up to the mill, up to the main road, turn left, follow the road round to the left and when you get to the garage, the service station, uh, there's a, a lane along there where you cross over the railway. Watch out for the traffic please, it can be quite fast along there. Right. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. We'll be visiting soon. Not to be confused with the other mills seen in the film, the one where Bob comments about the weatherboarding as he and Alison ride past in the car. This mill is also the boys' headquarters in the film and is where Peter and Bob go to see the boys after they've collected the salvage, which contains the evidence that Culpepper is the glue man. It's also the climax of the boys' river battle. If we go up onto the bridge there in a minute, um, this is the River Stour and it does flow into Canterbury just like Peter says in the film. Oh there's still apples down by the river bank. They were the main ammunition used by the boys in their battle. Right. 
Um, we'll go up to the bridge there now, and then onwards into the depths of the countryside. If anyone doesn't fancy the extended route, we'll be coming back this way probably in about an hour. So, yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Just let you know that. Yes. <laughs> yes. We'll speak to the Paul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. oh, right. I think I think you're in the book as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, he stood as carefully at a strategic point up there. All oh, right. Where the actor in the film is. Right. To get the same background, which right. hasn't changed over the years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, the trouble is, though, that it's still a field. And yeah, one yeah. field looks much like another field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, but I'll take them up to the the one or the part of the field that's easy to get to. Oh, the one where they... Where watch, they had the roll in the grass. No, the one the where grass. they uh, watched the... Um, the pop -up Run, go and carry whatever it was coming out. Um, no, that was actually near Guildford. Oh, yeah. oh. I, thought yeah. I thought it was... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, there you are, there's the ammunition. <laughs> there's the ammunition for the fight. <laughs> the boys are in yeah, the battle. Oh, that was just here, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the Agile River. Yeah, okay. yeah. They they oh. come along, I think, from this side. In in their um, boat. No, they can't have them. No? Because the sluice gates were there. Oh, right, okay, from this side then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, and one of the boys had, had gone ashore um, onto the riverbank, and then the enemy had captured him. <laughs> Wonderful. So, you haven't yeah. got any members of the uh, battle here today? No, no, oh, not, not, not that I've no. seen. No. Because no. no. um, most of them are old men now. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So, there's one friend of mine who's Follow the path round to the left. I will have a poor camera. Anyway. 
yes, yes. Yeah. 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 It was near here that Alison and Culpepper had their role in the grass. Excuse me. We yep. do know the exact location, Sea Paul's book, but it's just another field now. It's a field full of corn stubble or rapeseed stubble and it's a bit tricky to get to. So let's use our imagination and think of this as a field of long grass. Alison has just walked through the woods and then we cut to the first playlet when we need an Alison and a cold pepper. <laughs> And cold pepper and Alison. Alison, no, Alison, Alison. <laughs> right, action. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Glorious, isn't it? Anybody there? It's a real voice you heard. You're not dreaming. Do you know, just now, I, I heard sounds. What sounds did you hear? Horses' hooves, voices, and a lute or an instrument like a lute. Did you hear anything? Those sounds come from the inside, not outside. And only when you're concentrating, when you believe strongly in something. Just now, I was concentrating on who was coming up the hill to disturb me. Disturb you? At what? Breathing the air, smelling the earth, washing the clouds. Why don't you sit down? Thank you. Long Great. You know, I'm very mistaken about you, I'm sorry. Uh, I was mistaken about you too. We have to dig to find out about people, as well as roads. Do you know why I wanted to stay so much? I wanted to be here again. You've been here before. Do you see that clump of trees? I spent 13 perfect days there, in Your a car caravan. Your caravan? It belongs to me now. The owner? If there's such a thing as a soul, he must be here somewhere. He loved this hill so much. I love it too. May I ask, were you engaged? Three years. A long time. His father was the trouble. Did you have to each other? <laughs> oh yes, we didn't dislike each other. They were a very good family. He thought his son should marry someone better than a shop girl. Good family, shop girl. Rather you calculated phrases for war time. Not for Geoffrey's father. It would have taken an earthquake. We're having one. Too late for me. There are a lot of funny things in the world. What for instance? For instance, why should people who love the country have to live in big cities? Something's wrong. Miracles still happen, you know. Do you believe in miracles? When I was your age I didn't believe in anything. Now I believe in miracles. For shop girl? For everybody. You know, I think a shop girl has a bigger chance of, of a miracle than a millionaire. I can see you've never been a shop girl. <laughs> <laughs> Nor a millionaire. <laughs> see those clouds forming? It'll be a warm day tomorrow. <laughs> Lovely. Wonderful. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so if we go on down the lane there, we come to the, uh, the old white lane. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I have your name? I'm writing an article about oh, right. this, so maybe. Yeah, uh, Valerie. Valerie. Valerie Ainscoe. I'll Top. write it down for you. Thank in you. A minute if I, if and I'm your name? Colin Turner. Colin Turner. Thank you. Very good voices. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy your own record. I'm recording, yes, and I, I'm writing an article for this, so I put your names down if it's okay um, for you. Of course. Maybe I'll use the photo. One of them, too. Good, good. <laughs> Have you got any paper with you? Yeah. 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 So, here we are in the scene of the Beastly Carriers. Here we're in the lane that Alison was driving her cart along when she was ambushed by Peter and his carriers. <laughs> There was a camera position on top of the field, uh, up that way somewhere, yeah, right up there. Um, and we see Alison and the cart travelling along the lane as two carriers come down the hill, and another one comes up from the, the field below. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if we have one man and one woman to play Peter and Alison. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, I'll volunteer. Good man. Good, good, good. Good. Volunteers, please. Yeah. Volunteers, well done. Well done. And you can be Peter. I'm Peter. What's the idea of frightening my horse? I suppose you weren't scared. Why didn't you keep your beastly carriers off the <laughs> road? I know that voice. Hey, Alison, this is Peter Gibbs. I thought you didn't get that job. Who did you steal this cart from? I'm working for Mrs Foster. And if you don't take your carriers out of the road at once, I'll tell her what happened and she'll report you to your CO. <laughs> it was the CO's idea. I didn't know who was in the cart. I didn't know it was a girl. You're just an objective. I don't believe a word. <laughs> and I'm in a hurry. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so if anyone fancies it, you can walk up to the top of that hill, <laughs> or maybe not, <laughs> and then you can see where the camera position was. Any volunteers? Mm. No, I have a good no, <laughs> no, no. Okay, back along the road then. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've done it in the past. Yeah. 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 I wonder what time of year that is. Okay. But I shall bear it in mind for it because I'll be coming back. But will you ever go there again, Steve, or have you picked it up? Yes. Well, I won't be there. But I wouldn't like to take a large crowd there. No, I know what you mean. I can act my house as well. I'm not fast. I know you're fast. So, did you yield the phone? No, I didn't come to I always watched it a week before we come up on stage. Do you like I know where I'm going? Yeah, I've got most of the films. Your black barrier? Yes. What happened here? Well, what where the, uh, uh, the American sergeant talks to the boys. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, this is the hill. Yeah. And uh, oh, is there a place around here we can have a power? This is the place. Oh, it has changed. <laughs> yeah. 
the original film you can see the mill. Ah yeah, 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 yeah. But now it's behind the trees, so yeah, that's why I didn't recognize it. Yeah. Who wants to act? That's mine. Yeah, come on through. Yeah. Have we got anyone from the film? Yeah. Right. This is Powwow Hill, known as Julie Berry's Mound and believed to be an Iron Age burial mound. This was Powwow Hill where Bob, Leslie and Terry had their meeting after the river battle. There were fewer trees back then in 1943 and we could see the mill from here. Now, if I can have one man to play Bob and two boys to play Terry and Leslie. <laughs> boys, I'll come on boy. boys, you can be a boy. I'm still young. Yeah, That's indeed, hard. indeed. You can be Terry. I'll be Terry. Right. <laughs> uh, you want to be Leslie? Yes. No. <laughs> Leslie yeah. and Bob? Bob Johnson. Bob Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Watch out for the ants. Just getting the ear shot. So we can hackle. Royal Shakespeare Company next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can point at the trees. Oh, yes, he was biting it. Oh, right. It would have been ridiculous without that. Yeah. Method acting. Yeah. 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 Looks like this isn't the first time this place has seen a battle. No. no. Now, see here, you heard about the blue man, haven't you? Don't be scared. I'm not scared, nor am I. <laughs> Good, because I'm on his trail. The glue man? Yes. You want to catch him? That's the idea. Now, if this was the States, every kid in the village would lend a hand to get him. How? I'll tell you. I want you to help me check some things. Are you game? Yes. First, I want to know how many drug stores there are in Chillingbourne. What stores? Drug stores, <laughs> where you buy soap and razor blades and ice cream. No, you mean the grocers. Uh, call it what you like. Now, if you want to stick something together and needed the stuff to stick it with, where would you buy it? At the grocers. What? Is there only one? <laughs> only one. Next, I want to find out who's been buying sticky stuff at the grocer's. Is he a friendly sort of guy? Mr. Holmes. If that's his name, is he human? He's his father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Then, then Bob uh, runs uh, down the hill. Ah. And he, he gets into Fordridge, <laughs> which, which is the other side of Canterbury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. One, one of the ma many magic scene changes. Ooh. Right, so we've got to make our way back now. Back to where we came? Yeah. Oh, ah, glasshopper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You probably anyway, should we make our way back. Charles uh, and Ingontour. Yeah. 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 He was he was cousin Albert in Gontour. Yeah. 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 Follow me. Once you made the steam engine, you don't need a mill near water. Mm.
London shelters is that they say it's really bad. Honestly, it arrives. Yeah, yes. I like that. And one. do a little yeah, right in, in, in yes. Lincoln. And then uh -huh. uh, where Bob and Peter uh, oh, throw the ball. On the hill. On school hill. Car park. And in this bit we're now going to talk about the, the bus. I remember the bus coming up here. And turning, coming up into the square. Yeah, see, I can't. See, it works. <laughs> oh, Martin. Claire Teal. Claire Teal. Okay. 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 <laughs> I, I just never think just of opposite to where I said you can't park your car here. I, I still never, can't think of children with cars apart. <laughs> <laughs> because we were never allowed to drive cars. There's no room for the Chillin bus. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Chillin boom bus. Yes, indeed. Like happy families. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Forum Magnum of this area. And how many cannons before the car Oh, yeah. Right, we're all here. We're all here. Right, this is Chillum Square. This is where we see the bus arrive. Um, it parks up over there. Alison goes and talks to the driver. So if we can have two women, please, to play Alison and Polly. Come along, women. Women, women. Yeah. Oh, women, sorry. Women, women, women. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, can you tell me? Ask at the office, they will tell you. Oh no, it isn't bus information I want. It's yeah. about it's about the glue man. What about him? <laughs> Who are you? You are Polly Finn, aren't you? Yes. What if I am? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Now notice that Alison then goes on to meet with Gladys Swinton in the signal box and Dorothy Bird, the postwoman. And note how, because of the war, women are doing jobs previously done by men. Oh, yes. Comes over very strongly in this film. Right, if we go down to School Hill. <coughs> It's where the glue man is going. They say, where's the glue man? They say, he's, he's just gone to catch the shark and duck. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yes. We had the, um, the, the, um, yeah. And so I always have to buy it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. We're on the hill, remember. <laughs> Another take, please. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a present for the school kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had you got your name? <laughs> no, no. No, that's all right. That's all right. Right. Um, go down Taylor's Hill now. So back to the square. Uh. Now, surely those are the scenes in the shop. Do you have a finished ballet? Uh, yes. It was at one yes. time quite yes. important. Yes. Yes. And of a course. lovely dancer called Tanya Elg. Tanya, oh, Tanya Elg, I met at Sorangula Film Festival 2012. She's, she's still alive. Still, she's still beautiful, graceful, love, such yeah. wonderful memories. Yes, yeah. she was in a, a, a British film, you know. Um, 
the 39 steps. Ah, the second one, yeah. The, the second one. Yeah, the second yes. one. And also in, in Le Girl with Le Girl. Yeah, ah, of the, with well. Kate Kendall. Oh, yes. And, yeah, yes. and uh, Mitzi Kainer. Yes. And uh, of course, uh, the dancer. Oh, names. The dancer from Singing in the Rain. Oh, Jean, Jean, Jean Kelly. Jean, Jean Kelly, Jean Kelly yeah. yes. I don't like having tea in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see, it used to be called the copper kettle, indeed. Ah. There, there is the copper kettle. Okay. And you will see that in the shop, I dare really? say, because you, they're showing you up there. I think you see that copper kettle sign. Ah. Yes, that's it. Oh, ah. If you look, if you look yeah. up yeah. Hill, ah. that was the model for the studio setting yes. where they chased the glue man at the beginning of the film. Yes. yes. Yeah. And he was actually a little boy dressed in a uh, cut down uh, great coat right. to, to make him appear yeah. in scale. Yes. Yes. Scale in perspective. Amazing. Oh. Yeah. Great. Right. That's all there. Yes. I used to think so. it was actually this place when I kept watching it and I thought, no, it isn't. It, it isn't. isn't. And it I isn't quite. Over it's there and similar have a look. because it's, it's got similar. the overhanging upper stories. Exactly. But then they're not the same. Yeah. 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 <coughs> right, um, if we make our way back to the churchyard now, and then we'll, we'll finish up there. Uh, no, no, just in the churchyard. Oh, yeah. Uh, Joan. By reading out Culpepper's speech. Well, there are more than one, more ways than one of getting close to your ancestors. Follow the old road, and as you walk, think of them and the old England. They climbed Chillingbourne Hill just as you did. They sweated and paused for breath just as you did today. And when you see the bluebells in the spring and the wild thyme, the broom and the heather, you're only seeing what their eyes saw. Ford the same rivers, the same birds are singing. When you lie flat on your back and rest and watch the clouds sailing as I often do, you're so close to those other people that you can hear the thrumming of their hooves, of their horses, the sound of the wheels on the road and their laughter and talk and the music of the instruments they carry. And when I turn the bend in the road where they too saw the towers of Canterbury, I feel I've only to turn my head to see them on the road behind me. Thank you. Thank you, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Same time Thank you. next year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Last Sunday in August is when we do it. Because that, that's the Sunday when the film was set. That's the day. Yeah. yeah. The more the merrier. Yes, yeah. indeed. I shall keep my badge. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll never find it. Yeah. All right. The last Sunday. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. I need to have a little yeah. set of drawers. Yeah. The tear on the road. When it turns into yeah. the colour. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah. This is the first time. I'll take another one. Hey, yeah. oh. Black and white monogram. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 Oh, what's the oh, sorry. name? Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, conductor 71. Shea. Yeah. Marius Goring. Yeah. Yeah. Marius yeah. Goring. Yeah. That camera. Well, well, if anyone's taken one, yes. Yeah. I'll be 825. Thank you.